guys welcome back okay so this morning it's morning for me <laughs> it's still morning yeah, right? it's about 9 40 i think but this morning i wanted to just sit down put on some makeup i have a few items that i want to try out some that i want to continue to try out and I thought I'd just come and do that with you guys, okay? So this video basically is going to be built around this Juvia's concealer. I know it's not new, but I never tried it. And so when they had their latest sale, I decided to go ahead and pick some up. So I'm going to be trying out their concealer, the Magic Concealer today. Um, I also got this Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. This is one of the Jewel Tone palettes. This one is Ruby Obsessions, which is the red one. I got this in my Beautycon hauler bag, which I was shocked to get it, but this is what this one looks like. I know these have been out forever, but we about to play with this today. And hopefully today, unlike the other day, I will get to try out one of the lipsticks that I got as well. So that's what I'm doing today. Just trying out some new stuff and I'm going to spend some time with y'all okay now to start out i'm going to go ahead y'all just ignore my eyebrows they look crazy right now because first of all my eyebrows are very sparse and i'm letting them grow just grow however they grow because i want to start getting them threaded again and i need as much hair as possible in order for me to know exactly what shape i want for them to do so I have hair like all down here and so I'm gonna do my brows off camera because <laughs> ain't nobody got time to be looking at that so I'm going to go ahead and hydrate though with this Olay Mist ultimate hydration essence spray I like this stuff it feels good on my skin and it just it smells good too so I really like this stuff like it like it like it so I like to just kind of hydrate my face and then go in with some of my Neutrogena Hydra Boost. I've loved this stuff like forever. It feels really good. It's like the, <laughs> mine's is almost empty. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's kind of like that, I guess water cream gel stuff or whatever. It smells really nice too. It just smells like beautiful skincare. <laughs> It smells like youth, okay? <laughs> so, untainted youth. <laughs> Lord knows I could use some of that. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to go in with this as well. Get myself nice and hydrated. Finish up my eyebrows and then we'll come back and use this eyeshadow palette first. Because for some reason, I don't even know how to put on my foundation first before my eyeshadow without making a mess so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll be right back okay okay you guys I'm back and as you can see I have some serious brows going on right now <laughs> but anyways let's go ahead and jump into this Ruby Obsessions palette um, I want to do something kind of quick and simple so I can hurry up and get to this concealer so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the lightest shade up here, add a little bit of that to my brow bone. I'm going to put the dark shade in my crease, and then I'm probably going to try and smoke that out with this lighter red here. So that's the plan for this morning. So I'm gonna start out with my brow bone, which is not something that I normally do. I usually do that last, but I feel like changing it up a little bit today. And let's hope I don't regret it. That's bright. <laughs> That's bright. This side of my face is lit up more because I'm sitting right in front of my vanity with my lighting on, but I'm off to the side a little bit because I'm not sitting at my normal filming table today, I'm trying to be a little bit more chill and casual. <laughs> so this side of my face will be a little bit brighter than this side. So. Hope y'all don't mind too much. But I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that dark red into my crease. I'm 
do a quick, simple red eye look. She says she packs red eyeshadow all over, <laughs> all over her lid. Yeah. I don't know you guys, I just love color. If I can't see it, I don't want it, okay? Okay, so I decided to just pack that all over my lid because, I don't know, I kinda wanna do something with some glitter or some shimmer today. I know, keeping it simple, right? Um, so now I'm going to just buff the edge of that out with the lighter red shade in here. So that's about as good of a blend as I'm going to get this morning. <laughs> okay, wait, I don't even have any coffee. What, what? <sighs> Let me go get my coffee. Okay, I got my coffee. <laughs> got me a little Kona blend this morning, okay. So you know what, I'm thinking, mm, Let's screw the shimmer. Let's just do an all matte look today, okay? We're just gonna keep it smoky, burgundy red, okay? So I'm gonna throw on some black liquid eyeliner. Y'all know I use my Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner after I have a little bit of coffee. And then we'll move on to this face. Yeah. You know what, I take that back. I'm going to use my NYX matte liquid eyeliner i love this applicator it's like really long and thin so it makes it a little bit easier to do like a wing so yeah i'm gonna use my nyx today i might have a new favorite guys so to prime today I'm going to use one of my oldie but goodies <laughs> old favorites the elf poreless face primer this used to be my OG favorite back in the day and I haven't used it in a while I think I might have used it once when I was out of town because I think I have one that I leave with my husband but I had to buy a new one because I didn't have any here at the house so this is what I'm gonna prime with today this stuff feels so good. <laughs> if you get oily in your T-zone, um, this is really good for filling in those pores and kind of helping to keep the oils at bay. Just sit here and rub this stuff on my face all day. That's how good it feels. <laughs> I used way too much though. You don't need that much. Okay, so since I'm going to be trying out this Juvia's Place concealer today, I figured I'd go ahead and use my Juvia's foundation as well to see if I like them together. The color I have is Burkina, so I'm just gonna go in with some of this before I apply my concealer. And I'm going to go ahead and use my flat top perfecting brush from Juvia's Place as well. Their brushes are so pretty, you guys. I have the blue set and I also have their red set. They're so gorgeous. So I'm gonna use the flat top from the blue set for my foundation today. I forgot with this foundation, you really don't need a lot and I gooped out a lot on my hand. <laughs> so. We gonna have full full coverage today, y'all. Okay, so yeah, we got some full coverage going on today, you guys. <laughs> I didn't need to use that much, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I have to remember, I have, you know, I have so many foundations that I forget which ones where it's like, okay, Camille, you only need just like 
a drop and then other ones you need like half the bottle okay okay you guys so let's jump into this concealer the shade that I have is 11 so I'm just going to place this in some of the air under my eyes and just to highlight a little bit cover my mustache a little bit y'all know the drill Yeah, definitely, just looking at it, I can see that this is like some serious coverage. <laughs> okay, I'm liking that, I'm liking that a lot. Nice coverage, it's blending out easily. I like how it's playing with its own foundation. Even with this concealer, I'm noticing you really don't need a lot. It's spreading a lot. So yeah, I'm really <laughs> blending a lot of it out um, because, yeah, you do not need a lot. It's really spreading. So my initial thoughts for this concealer is, dang, I wish I would have picked up a couple of more when they had their sale. <laughs> so now when it goes back on sale, y'all know I got to get me a couple of backups. So just first impression application. I like the shade. I like the coverage. Um, I can see I do have a little bit of creasing under my eyes, but you know, I don't think I've ever put on a concealer where I didn't still see some of my creasing. I mean, I'm not 20, <laughs> so yeah, but I like it. I do. I'm going to put just a teeny bit more like right here. It's not super drying or anything. It feels really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead, add some of my collab powder and see how it plays with that. Okay, and to set the rest of my face, I'm going in once again with my Kiss New York Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation. I liked how this looked on my face the other day when I used the Estee Lauder Foundation. So I'm going to try it with my Julius Foundation and see if I still like it or not. And I got this brush from TJ Maxx when I was shopping with my girls, Lily and DJ. You know, we was getting our shop on in Vegas and I bought this cute little uh, fluffy powder brush. It has, I don't know if you can see, but it has a little indentation for your fingers and it's really, really soft, really soft. I think I paid like $3.99 for it. It's really nice. It's from Kinsey. So I might have to check out some more of Kinsey's brushes. My skin is really, really bad right now, y'all. I have not been taking care of myself. I haven't been drinking enough water. I haven't been exercising like I'm supposed to. When I was out of town with my husband, I was just like eating all kind of crap, you know, cause that's what we do. <laughs> but I'm about to get it back together, y'all. I'm about to get it back together, okay? Like for real, for real. Yep, I still like this powder. I like it. Hello. Okay, and to do a little bronzing, y'all, today, <laughs> I remembered I'm going to use my minted bronzer duo. This is the Ashley Blaine Featherson collab bronzer duo that I just got from Minted. So I am going to go on this side and just see, you know, how this bronzes me up a little bit. 
and I'm also using another Kenzie brush to do that. Um, this one is a fluffy brush, but it's a little bit smaller. I think I paid the same $3.99 for both brushes, but this one's a little bit smaller, very nice, very soft, and this one's a little bit larger that I used for my powder. You gotta be careful with this bronzer because it will sneak up on you. My Morphe bronzer, I could basically see it <laughs> right when I put it on. But this one is like, you kind of build it up and it's like, whoa. <laughs> so yeah, it can kind of sneak up on you. And it doesn't look like it's that well. I guess it does look a little bit darker in the viewfinder. <laughs> but to me, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that dark. But as I'm using it now, I can see that, yeah, it definitely will sneak up on you. Okay, you guys, and so for blush, I'm using another Old Faithful. This is my e.l.f. blush, and this one is in the color Always Spicy. <laughs> and I like it because this blush is really just like the perfect blush for brown skin girls. I mean, it just gives you a nice, flush of color, nothing too bright, too red. It's just like the perfect blush tone to give you a nice, beautifully blushed cheek. <laughs> and I think it goes really well with this eye look today. And for highlight, I'm going into my e.l.f. Modern Metals palette love this palette and I think today like every day I, you know what I really need to try out these blushes down here I don't even use this for blush I just strictly go to it for highlighter and I always use this middle one right here because it's like my favorite but I really should try out some of these blushes in here but <laughs> one day Wait, 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 wait. Elf, chill out. Chill out, Elf, chill out. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Okay, take it easy. Oh, y'all. Oh my goodness, I cannot. It's too early in the morning for all of this. <laughs> it's way too early for all this highlight. Oh my goodness, honey. Chill out. <sighs> I was not ready. Elf, I was not ready. Now, I didn't use this palette a million times. You would think that I would remember. Ugh, just, I was not ready. Okay, whatever. That's going to have to do, honey. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Now I gotta make this side match. Lord have mercy. Let's go ahead and finish these eyes. I'm gonna go back into the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions. I'm gonna go into that dark red and just smoke it out a little bit with the light red, I think, since I am so smoky on my eyes. I'm probably just gonna do a black eyeliner. I'm going in with some of my Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil, just black. We are gonna keep it sexy and smoky today. And I'm going in with my Pixie by Petra Lash Lift Mascara. Okay, so I think I'm gonna spray my face before I move on to the lips. So I'm going in with my Rich Luxe Slay All Day Setting Spray in Dream Sickle. Okay, so let me go ahead and swatch these two lipsticks. When I showed them in my last video, I realized I didn't swatch them. I did show them but I didn't swatch them. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you. This first one here is Velvet. 
very pretty packaging. And this one is the lighter one that I felt kind of had, you know, like a rosy nude feel to it. So that is what that one looks like. Very pretty. And then this one is vamped. Same pretty packaging. And this is the darker one. Ooh, hoo, hoo. much darker. So that's what vamped looks like. What are we doing today, y'all? Vamped? No. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do velvet because I am gonna do a dark lip liner. So I'm gonna use my Ellery lip liner and then I'm gonna go in with velvet. Should have exfoliated and moisturized my lips. They're a little crusty this morning. <laughs> Little crusty. Okay, so let's go in with velvet. Oh, that feels good. Okay, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. You don't have to go over it as much as I am. I just like the way it feels. <laughs> it feels good. It's very smooth and velvety, okay? Feels very nice. And I definitely can see me putting like a gloss over this if I wanted to do like a shiny lip with this and a lip liner. Very pretty, I like it. But I'm gonna leave it matte since my eyes are matte. We just gonna stay matte today, you guys. So, so this is what we have today, you guys. I like the look. I do, I like the look. It's very rare when I do kind of like a simple monochromatic eye look, but I'm feeling it today, okay? This little Huda Ruby Obsessions palette, okay, creates a nice bold red eye look. So I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the concealer, I like it. I like the coverage, it feels good. It's playing nice with my favorite powder, my Collabu setting powder, so that's a plus. And it's playing well with its own foundation. You might think that's kind of like, duh, a no brainer, but I have tried foundations that I love and I hate the concealer from the same brand and vice versa. So I'm very happy that it's playing well with the foundation. Very nice. Um, this lipstick, y'all, I like it. It's very comfortable, nice, soft velvet feel to it. Um, yeah, it's like, I can't even feel it on my lips at all right now. It's like, it's just there, so. We'll just see how that does. And I love that Rich Lux Setting Spray. It smells good, it feels good. It holds my face in place all day, so I love it. But anyway, those are just my thoughts on the palette and the concealer, which were basically, in the lipstick, the stuff that I was testing out today. I like it. And I love when I have a day where I'm not just hating stuff. So anyways, that is it for this video today, you guys. I kind of wanted to have a little bit more of a relaxed, chillaxed feel, which I think most of my videos are kind of chillaxed anyway. But I'm just kind of sitting at my vanity, not my usual filming table. And, you know, with a little more natural lighting, just hanging out with you guys. So you guys, let me know in the comments below if you like this setting or you like the feel of this video then I will do more like this because I like it I'm very comfortable here if you like this video go ahead hit that like button for me it helps me out a lot because YouTube be tripping not only that if you're not subscribed and you like it girl go ahead and subscribe okay I have goals that I'm trying to reach but I really don't focus on them because I know that what God has for me is for me so and I'm not really aggressive on social media I don't feel <laughs> I kind of just post what I feel like posting at the moment so if you want to subscribe subscribe help your girl out hang out with me you know a couple times a week but anyways enough of that thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you on the next one toodles